do a thing or two here. Okay. Um, and I'm off mute. Okay, well, I want to welcome everyone back from the break. Uh, if I could just have a show of hands, can you hear me okay? Okay, great. Terrific. Thank you. Um, so we reached the part of the program where we honor those for their outstanding service, both to Citizens for Global Solutions, as well as to the World Federalist Movement, and for that matter, to all of humanity. So I'd like to begin by recognizing and thanking our small but mighty staff. Without their support, we could scarcely be able to accomplish all the things that we've been discussing, including this convention. So due to the technology, I'll ask each of you as I introduce you to both wave your hand and to say hello, so that if people are in gallery view, they could see who you are amongst the sea of about 50 faces. And if they're in speaker view, if you speak, so you pop up on their screen and they will see you. So first I wanna make sure, is Marvin Perry here? Oh, I see you waving, terrific. So if you would go off mute and say hello, so you can pop up on people's screen if they're in speaker view. Good afternoon all. Okay, thank you. So uh, just to let you know, Marvin is uh, for a, sta our sta a staff member, sorry, from Washington DC. And he's been with us um, for a number of years and serves as our accountant and a fellow strategist. Um, I want to thank him personally for helping me. Marvin's, as I said, been in for years, and he's been helping to orient me around what all the numbers mean, what the budget means, and helping me make sense of all of that. So, uh, so thank you, Marvin. So next. You're welcome. You're yes. Welcome. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, he keeps me sane in the uh, budget category. Okay, so next is Janet Mercer, who's from Maryland, uh, who joined us about two years ago. You met her yesterday, she spoke a few times. And as a self-described techno geek, uh, Janet's been pivotal uh, to the production of our newsletter, our journal, our website updates, our social media presence, and a myriad of other activities. So Janet, if you would say a few words so you pop up on people's screen. Hi everybody, and so glad to see all of you. And it's such an honor to be associated with this organization. Great, thank you, Janet. Okay, and our most recent staff member is Chelsea Colbeck, who began in March of this year. And Chelsea lives just down the road from me in Northern California and works primarily in the area of development as well as at my personal administrative assistant. And as you probably already noticed, she's been providing the musical, poetic, and dance interludes uh, that you've been seeing at our breaks and intermission. So Chelsea, if you would just go on mute and say hello so people see who you are if they're on speaker view. Hello, hi everyone. Okay, so you have met our small but mighty staff. Okay, so with such a small staff, the Citizens for Global Solutions would not exist without a dedicated group of volunteers. However, among those, there are three people who went so far above and beyond the call of duty that we created a new award for folks who do that, the Citizens for Global Solutions Distinguished Service Award. So Donna will present the awards and I'll hold them up to the camera so you could see them. And I'll also ask the recipients of the awards if they would do the same thing that our staff just did of saying hello at one point, so you pop up on people's screens and they could see you. And then rather than hand, handing it to them, which unfortunately we can't do at this moment, uh, I will make a run to the post office this week uh, and we will be sending them the awards. So with that, Donna, if you would take it from here. And Donna, I think you're on mute. It doesn't show you on mute, but we can hear you talking. Uh, I still can't hear you. Can't hear.
I guess, Don, is you're speechless with the amount of service and dedication that these people have put in, but I'm sure hope she'll get her voice back momentarily. As I said yesterday, I thank you in advance for any bumps in the technical road that we encounter. I believe that Donna is on video and her phone separately, so she may be calling back in if she lost the connection. Yes, Pop, that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, this only builds anticipation for the awards to come. I'm really sorry. Um, hi, everyone. I'm sorry. I was on the phone contacting Bill Pace, who was not on the call, and he is our major award recipient. And I got Bill, and uh, Janet Mercer, did you see the message to send him the link so he can join us? And then when Bill hung up, I lost my entire connection to you. So I had to call back in again. I'm really sorry. So I missed what Bob said, but I am so honored to be able to recognize our new uh, Distinguished Service Award to three very important volunteers. And I, I think that first I'm gonna ask Nancy Dunleavy to unmute herself and say something. So, so the, the uh, recording can pick up a vision of Nancy. Hi everybody from St. Paul, Minnesota. Thank you, Nancy. Nancy has a Bachelor of Arts in Humanities and a Master's of Library Science, both from the University of Minnesota, Twin Cities. She's worked as a librarian, office manager, and since 2016, as the director of the Workable World Trust, founded by Professor Joe Schwartzberg. Nancy says it was such an honor to work side by side with Joe on important UN reform work, and she especially takes pride in the work they've done that engages youthful global citizens. Nancy likes to spend her free time reading, watching movies, and cheering on her WNBA team, that's the women's basketball, for those who might not know, the Minnesota Lynx. She's been a member of Saka Gakkai Internationally, a socially engaged Buddhist community for 48 years. She has been a delegate or officer of the Minnesota Alliance of Peacemakers since 2002. Nancy is being recognized today for her significant contributions to CGS, including the creation of the World Citizen Virtual Book Club when we first read Joe's book as our first book, and now that book could, club continues, and her leadership of the Model UN Plus and UN 2020 programs, both of which you'll hear more about tomorrow. Nancy has also served as the president of the large and active Minnesota chapter of CPS, most well known for its third Thursday global issues forum that were held monthly for 18 years starting in 2000 and now hosting the monthly Third Thursday Global for, for Film Discussion Group via Zoom. Bob, can you, Bob is, if you say something, Bob, now you can see the award. Yes, yeah. oh, that's right. Yes, I got a talk for the award to pop up. So if you haven't seen it before and you're on Speak of You, this is the award that Nancy is receiving. So please join me in recognizing Nancy. And I'll stop talking. You say something, Nancy, so your image is on. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, everyone. Um, you'll always be part of my, my life, and I'll stay in, as engaged as I'm able. I'm putting some effort more into local racial justice issues, um, but CGS will always be dear to my heart, and all of you are great friends. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. The next award um, is going to Lynn Darby. Lynn, if you could unmute yourself for a minute and say something so the video, the recording picks up your image. Hi, everybody. Did it pick and me she up? You might have to change. Can yeah, she's on, she might be on your second screen, but I see you. So Lynn has a Bachelor of Science in Math and a Master of Science in Statistics. 
She's worked for 35 years as a statistician, statistical programmer, data manager, and business analyst in the global pharmaceutical industry. Lynn and her husband, Tom, live in Cincinnati, Ohio. After retiring, they spend their time taking care of their grandchildren and their parents, traveling all over the world in pre-COVID days, and playing bridge. Lynn began volunteering for CGS in 2016 in a response to a bold request from me to help us out. Lynn and I had worked together for many years, and I knew we really needed her skills. Lynn is being recognized today for her outstanding work as a data manager, programmer, business analyst, and team leader for CGS. Not only has she helped us maintain our database of thousands of members and supporters, but she also led us through a transition to a new donor management system. Her expert work has saved the organization thousands of dollars that we were able to put into our public education and outreach efforts. Bob, if you say something, you can see the-, the I am uh, now saying something so everybody can see the award Lynn is getting. And let me read the award, uh, which I didn't do before. The, these three awards say the same thing, except the names, of course, are different. It says, in recognition of her, or in a moment, his outstanding contributions, Citizens for Global Solutions hereby presents to Lynn Darby, in this case, the Distinguished Service Award, November 19th, 2020. So those are the three awards. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lynn. Um, if you could say something again, so the recording will pick you up. Yeah, yes, thank you for the award. <laughs> silent, silent clapping is a riot, yeah. isn't it? It's like a new right. thing to watch, right. like watch everybody clap and no hear, no sound. It's like, right. Muted all right. clapping. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's good. So Veda's got her clap up on her window. That's good. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our third um, award goes to Eugene Butch Odding. Butch, could you unmute yourself and say something? Hello, all. Good to be here. Thank you, Butch. Butch Odding attended Xavier University in Cincinnati, where he received a BS and an MS in math. Following college, Butch began his career at Procter & Gamble. He worked at P&G for 40 years in the information technology area, primarily in systems design, implementation, and data management. The last 10 years were focused on integrating local country payroll and benefit systems into a global HR system. Butch is now retired, and he and his wife, Barb, live in Cincinnati and enjoy visiting their grandchildren in Boston. Butch is also learning to play the piano, tutor at a local public school, and follow several sports teams. Butch has supported various local groups working for just social justice over the years. It was in studying immigration issues that he realized a more global approach was needed to address injustices in this and other areas. This prompted Butch to offer to volunteer for CGS after hearing me give a presentation at Xavier University. Procedure, there was a best, there were only like three people in the audience and Butch and Barb were two of them. <laughs> uh, for C but you never know with see what happened. For CGS, Butch is involved with various areas of data management, including monitoring the data quality, writing reports, analyzing data and solving problems. He and Lynn have worked seamlessly together to enable CGS to save thousands of dollars that we are able to put into other areas. Bob, if you could now say something, so yes, the so award here's shows. The award. Here's the award that Butch will be receiving, or has just received. <laughs> so please join me in thanking Butch, and Butch, if you would uh, say something again so the recording picks you up. Yeah, thank you so much. This is really an honor. I really am quite humbled by it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll leave my, thank you very much, Butch. <laughs> And just thanks once again to Nancy, Lynn, and Butch for all they have done for CGS. And it's just such a delight to work with all of you. So thank you. Great, thank you all and thank you, Donna. I just like to let the group know that for quite some time, for months, I, or maybe more, uh, Donna was telling me about these two people, uh, Butch and Lynn, that were doing all this amazing work for us. I never met them. 
And eventually I began to think that these were imaginary friends that Donna had. Um, <laughs> so often she would, um, she, you know, and, and what added to that is often when she's on conference calls, she does it from a walk-in closet. So she's in the closet and she's participating in our calls. And I figured she had her imaginary friends in the closet to keep her company. So finally, we had a meeting and found out that they were not imaginary. <laughs> they were flesh and blood people. And it's just an incredible uh, amount of service that they performed for the organization without really having been part of the organization, which was really amazing to me, kind of standing on the outside doing all this work. So I just want to underscore that. And I'm happy to announce that uh, Donna occasionally these days has gotten out of the closet uh, and attends her meetings from other places uh, in her home. So with that, we'll be moving on to the Norman Cousins Global Governance Award, which is 